guys. Don't pose a threat. Nothing. Only shoot if they, you know, they pull their guns. Like, they're, it gets heated, they pull their guns, and obviously, we, you know, we got we got to pull. But Oath, if it's a nine-minute conversation, man, you got this. I believe you. Hey. Just wait for Marty. <clears throat> oh, I thought you were a jack for a second. What's up, suck? Oh, what's up? He's a, he's a gingerbread man. Oh, I did. Hi. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, what's up, Spachi? What up? Chillin', brother, chillin'. Um, so basically I just want to talk to you because I mean I've been gone, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be gone. So I just want to make sure like things are clear between you and I, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so basically this this all started because Future was uh, down at, at the gas station talking to a member I don't know who it was And he was like yo Sue so just because one person from the Don's of here You're gonna ransack through all of our neighborhood and he kept asking that question He's like, okay, right and then someone of your gang said are you gonna do something about it? And then, yeah, I mean, it said, sounds like said, we're, we're we're just like speed running through the conversation and not really like fully accurately detailing exactly the ins and outs of the conversation. Marty, yeah, yeah. I'm just skipping over the fib, parts fib. where I was hey, doing hey, my hey, best. Hey, 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 it's all hey, good. They can. We're not I here. I wasn't talking to you. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we're not. I wasn't talking to you. We're not. We're not here to 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 rehash who said what he said. She said this. All right. Just let fib, uh, Marty and I just discuss this real quick, and then if we have time, we'll we'll discuss more in detail sure sure yeah i just noticed the time uh, yes so okay. marty marty what you're saying is true okay but you also have to understand it was his tone it was how he was saying it it was what happened before that as we came up here to talk to turk and well, what happened before that so basically what happened as we were pulling up they your boys started running their mouth to us like instantaneously and i was already biting my lip because i actually came here to to legit talk and turk and i actually were having a great conversation and everything was fine, and then we heard the gunshots, and that's when Turk just shot me, and I don't blame him. But, Marty, I'm telling you, we go, we go back, man. I, I can honestly say, brother, I have not had any type of campaign to go against GG, none of this shit. A lot of stuff yeah. that we've been hearing has been coming from you guys towards us, and what Turk has been doing to BSK over the last two weeks has been asinine. He, he dressed up in red, came down, talked shit, made up stories, shot our guy. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me pause right there. I don't agree for a second what he did there, and, and he doesn't agree either. He was just being a fucking dumbass, and I, and I made him realize that those actions have consequences. So he, he paid you guys, like what, like he 25, did. 50K? He did. But he, then he knows he, I don't agree with that. But then he continued, you know, a little bit later on. Then they were talking shit about us at this... Uh, comedy club or whatever and it's like okay it is what it is but who else are they talking about you're not really talking about anybody else why is bsk we talked about we talked about gsf as well at that we of said, course fuck gsf fuck bsk of course because you guys are neighbors that's the reality of it. it's not anything okay. against you personally okay so not fuck vagos yeah. hey, not fuck please, Russ, please turn that shit off not fuck anybody else just fuck these two gangs yeah you guys are neighbors okay all right so anyway um Basically, when, when we went over towards Turk, so what happened was is we were fighting NBC, and Turk drove into the middle of the fight, and I didn't know what was going on. All I heard was Turk screaming, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, and then he peeled off, and I call up Turk. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you just finished shooting our guys. We had a conversation. Everything was good, and he was like, well, I was just curious. There was shooting, so I drove in to see who was shooting. It's like, why are you even here? So it's just like one thing after another after another. And then when I came over to speak to Turk about um, what happened down here, so essentially the Dons ended up shooting AJ because we shot James Arsenal. The Dons inserted themselves into the fight. So when we found out that the Dons are now quote-unquote GG street team and they live here, we had no choice but to come here because Tony was using this place basically as a safe haven because he wanted us to get GG involved. So what did we do? We went into a studio. We didn't go into every door. We went into one door. We went into the studio, and, and Jamal was doing his thing. We put our guns down. We enjoyed his music, and then we pulled our guns out. We went around the corner, and we asked him if he was GG. He said no. He pulled his gun out. We said, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that, Jamal. Put your gun away. He obliged. 
We then took him out of the area because the Dons were outside. Nobody shot Jamal. We took him over to the block. I put handcuffs on him, went into his phone just to make sure he was GG. Turns out he was. We gave him $6,000 on top of all of his stuff back, which all he had was a phone and, a, and an Uzi. That was it. We gave him all of his stuff back. We never took his phone in the first place, but we gave him his gun back, and we gave him $6,000, and we dropped him off here. What happens then? Turk gives us a call, and he loses his fucking mind, and he's going nuts. So I said, calm down. I'll come down, and I'll have a conversation with you. And this is very rich coming from the individual that can come up and start making up wars out of, out of nowhere because he's bored. But yet we go into a studio don't because— Don't talk about my boy like that. Don't talk about your boy like that. Really, just, after listen, all the stuff, the, after the all the stuff that oh, he just did, tell, listen, that's just the tell thing. the story. Just tell the story with, without you fucking shitting on my friends, please. Well, maybe if your friends didn't act like a shit lord, I wouldn't have to shit on him. And that's just the truth. When you come I down, you, I told you I'm gonna say it again. Don't talk shit about my friends. Okay, I'm gonna continue, continue. to call him a shit lord if he keeps acting like a shit lord. Period. Just continue, just, continue the story continue, without continue. without shitting on people's characters, bro. Like people's people's thing? personalities, bro. Please. Can I say one Hold thing? Hold up, turn this too much thing? time. Can I add one thing on this? Yeah, you can go ahead. All the things, all the stories, like all the things you told up until the point where we had a meeting here. I think everything was resolved. We every time, okay, some things are ha like that happened, right? We talk with it, we were over with it, and it was all good. I paid you guys. It was never all happened. good. It was never all good. We just all we I did mean, because we were in the middle of fighting NBC. We pretended like it was all good. We've been pissed off with how you've been treating us for the last couple of weeks. And then when we came here and I told my boys, if they fucking disrespect you again, every time I talk with you, Turk, it's like, we'll fucking lay you fuckers down. You're fucking dog shit. You're the worst gang in the South Side. And we kept taking it. And it got to the point where Future was fucking poking and prodding and baiting a fucking for somebody to shoot so that you guys can get involved. It's 100% what it was. And I told Fibbler and everybody else, if they run their mouth like they had been, shoot them in the fucking head and what did he do he shot him we got tired of being pushed around by you guys and acted like we're fucking 10th tier down here while we've been showing you nothing but respect none of that shit just because you gave us some money and we said everything was cool this shit was the tension was still there brother doesn't mean that that shit didn't happen it did and we got tired of being pushed around that's why it, that's why it went down the way it did and that's the truth Yeah, just to add to that as well, like he, he's asking us, like, what do you think you're doing going into the houses, yada, yada. I explained to him. I understood how it looks. Omar we're looking for the Dons. The studio. But we're looking Omar for the Dons. There. You're safe harboring. Remember the alliance that you're essentially part of, or maybe you're not? I don't know. It's to stop the hand holding. You're doing literally what Chang Gang was doing with no Street Team. No, you no are living in the Nobody same. Dude, you are, you are it's changing him. the narrative. I am. You're fucking oh shit ass fucking the way you want it to be, bro. No one is harboring shit. No one is we sheltering shit. Never, no one is we doing that never bullshit. Getting involved, nor trying to get involved. Well, well whether you're, whether you're, people, whether you're, or nothing like that. Our right, right, right. Whether you're, so we're not getting talk, involved in their shit. Don't talk about my boy. Don't talk about my boy. Oh, and also, Street Team is in the cars with you guys while you're hunting GSF. Once again, another thing. Thing that the that the the alliance oh, please is... please please don't don't piss me off please. well it's true it's true and Ma you know Marty, it is whether marty whether you're harboring these people or not we had to try and find them where we knew where they lived and they live here bro okay but we, we, that's not our beef D the don's yeah. beef ain't our hey, beef it's time come back come back it's time come back all right i'll come back i'll come back i'll come back i'll try to i'll try to okay I mean, you tell these guys the facts, and then they're like, don't say that. It's like, why don't you want me to say that? Because it hurts? You've literally got Street Team in a car with you, shooting GSF, and you're part of an alliance that is defensive against that same type of shit. Ugh. Sorry about that. We would have been here sooner, but uh, we Remember, thought you were fighting GSF, so we didn't want to, you know, jump in. Nah, we, just got, we just got idiots. <sighs> Circling around. Yeah, fucking dumbasses. Right. Oh, I like this. You got fresh food and pizza. Thank you. No, no, no. That's that's Jamal's. You don't want to touch that. Oh, it's, sorry. It is old. Yeah, he, no, he's old. the only person that's fucking immune to eating that shit. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> What's this liquid on the table? The green stuff? Lean. Lean. Oh, okay. This is where they come up here and write their bars for the stew. Oh, uh, okay, hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So, uh, anyway. Things were getting a little heated there the towards out. the end, but uh Yeah, that's why I wanna sit down because uh 
there's less tension when people sit down you know less of a threat whatever i don't know it's a nature thing i think yeah so you know the whole jamal thing it was it it, it it was just like an un, it was like an unnecessary evil, you know. Where, for example, if Chang Gang, if we're fighting Street Team, and we got to go into Little Soul t- to get them, you know, and everything is commingled, Chang Gang's got to understand to a degree that like we have. Where else are you going to find these guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, are we yeah. supposed to just? never attack here never never go and try and find people and give that give up that advantage because you know the bigger gang is allowing them to to live in their area whoa whoa, whoa. wait 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 wait, 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 wait real quick spotchy real quick so um OTC, i want to know what you think about this right okay um if jalen he's in street team right mm-hmm. if jalen had a house inside of the compound and you were looking for jalen would you go through every single door inside of that compound Okay, for one, we didn't go through every single door. We went through one door because okay, the other doors the were locked. Is, no, the thing is, right, so, like, if you look up um, Omar in, this, in City Hall, right, you can see which house it is. But we don't. There's so no can, numbers. Yeah. Like, we, we can check the numbers. Yeah, but am I supp- can, in the middle? Yeah, but we're in the middle of a war, bro. Am I supposed to pull out my phone and, like, check the addresses of every single door? And the dons are all set up all over the place? Like I did. Either when I came to you to deliver the food, remember? I mean, if you want the listen, if you want the cold hard truth, guys, and this isn't this isn't like me taking a shot at you. This is just like, why have them live here? Why not only, have them? It's only Omar, and it's the key. Yes, but okay. Yeah. So if Omar is GG, why is if 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 he's GG, then why are you allowing him to still roll with the dons? You got to pick a life. If you're co-mingling both, like every time that we've had an issue with with um, uh, Tony Balboni, Omar's there, and Tony gets involved in every little thing that he's part of, so it just co-mingles it. So if the Dons are down here, we have no choice but to go and try and get these guys because when they go down to Brogue, we don't have you know other groups that we're close with living there on our block or within there. And it would because if we did, then we know that if they got into a fight, you guys are going to go look for them, or any other gang is going to go look for them in there. And how can we get mad at that gang for them doing what they have to do, you know, to to get at the other side? There's got to be some sort of level right. of so, recognition there. But did you think to contact any of us? I did. I called Turk and I explained, dude. I explained. I even Before twatted. It happened, though. I did. I I I texted Turk or I I called I Turk. And yeah. then I also went on Twitter and I said, if any GG are around, please call me. This was when we got the information that Jamal, or not Jamal, sorry, that Omar was part of GG, but also still part of the Dons. And so we had a list of people from the Dons, and when we looked up where they lived, it was coming back to this area. So that's when I went on Twitter and I said, if any GG are around, call me. And I put my number in the yellow pages. Then I got no answer. So we went in, and that's when we saw Jamal. When we had Jamal in there, I tried calling Turk, and there was no answer. And then I asked Jamal if there's anybody else around that was GG, and he said no. So that's the only reason why we took him, and I, I checked his phone. Once we got confirmation, I gave him six Gs, apologized, dropped him back off. Nobody was shot. Nobody was hurt. Nothing. But yet, like, on our side, we can have you guys say whatever you want to us, threaten us in any manner you want, shoot our people, do whatever, call us dog shit, and but we go into a house and it's like, oh my god, the whole world is bended? And we didn't do, we didn't shoot a bullet. We were as careful as we could be because we knew we would be in this very same position that we're in Holy right now. Holy shit. We're already so fighting. It's NBC. a wonderful five. The question is, if you were careful then, why, why weren't your boys careful when they shot Future? Because Future was running his fucking mouth. He wanted us to shoot. I guarantee you, my friend. I, I am not shitting you. The guy has a lippy fucking mouth, we're and he provokes people. We're not going to disagree people. with you on that. We're not going to sit here and disagree. We, we, we know that. Um, we're not like, speaking you know. to Future because I'm the I'm the one that saw Future and uh, and, and 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 Tony who's next to him and uh, and Suck. But when I was talking to Future, I, I understood where he was coming from. I was trying to let him know that I understood his point of view on how like you know how he felt uh, violated us rushing into the house. 
um we we picked the wrong door but as soon as we heard the music you know like we just went with the flow of what was happening in front of us right like we didn't just go back out and look look for another door so anyway i explained all that and i was trying to de-escalate everything with future and he just kept poking kept poking kept poking and i tried to I tried to ignore it tried to ignore it and then it just got too much so the thing is uh, um at the end right whether he was poking he was poking right he kept poking and poking mm. at the end one of you guys said do something about it yeah what and did that's he say me as after well. well he i don't uh recall him saying anything after that his boys next to him pulled their weapons so i pulled my weapon and then we traded shots future <clears throat> When the guy told you to do something about it, did your friend, did the people next to you pull out a gun? Well, Zuck the literally pulled out a gun. The, yeah, the guy who Zuck, did you pull out them. a gun? We didn't come here to fight, Marty. Like, when we originally came, I came to speak to Turk. I had no uh, idea clear, what was listen, going on. Here comes. Like, Turk there were and no I... Guns, there were no guns pulled, and Future literally said he came here with no disrespect, and he doesn't want any beef. That's what he said. And there were no so, guns pulled. I think Future's so full of shit, that, Marty. No, uh, no offense, man. It's, it's, it's two people on the radio telling me that. Okay. Future, Future didn't have a weapon, uh, but the the suck guy did, and he pulled his out. Tony was there too. Suck, you pulled, pulled your gun out. Gun too. Yeah, and Tony pulled his gun as well. Well, Tony's he he, just a fucking. He, he said he pulled his gun only after one other person from your guys uh, pulled your gun out. So, yeah, so, but so from I think, where I, I was think standing. Specific, wait, wait, hold, hold on, my boy. I think go for it, go for it. The specifics of that don't really matter, but I want to go back to that analogy you said, right? Like, if we were looking for street team, right? Mm -hmm. Now, no, TT, we, we're not going to go and, like, go into each one of their house and stuff, but we will go straight to, to Little Soul, right? Look where we know that the street team hang out, right? And do something about it if they there, whether, you know, CG there or not. And now CG get to choose if they're going to be involved, but that that's just like how we wanted how we're trying to do it like have them be part of their own beef right their shit is not our shit but you but uh the the reason why that it escalated was whenever you went into the the places looking for someone whenever it's our places because he don't even live here right yeah i, I understand so, i understand so, your point of view so it's, if it's like you know uh, from from like a gang underneath us we, we're not we're not protecting them we're not keeping them safe Nothing like that. We're not getting involved in none of the Don's, the Don's beef. The only reason I think that we got involved, period, was because of the whole apartment incident, and it's where we reside and wake up every single day, you know? So what happens when you guys can shoot us, talk shit about us, run your mouth to us, do as you want, you, listen, say what you want? Uh, uh, you, need to, you, need to, you, need to stop, you need to stop putting parts of the story and then making it your narrative. When, when, when Turk shot... He also give you fifty thousand dollars. I don't give a okay. fuck, bro. I want. I'll give you the fifty thousand dollars back right now. Fuck your money. Then, then, right. then, don't. Tell I, me. I really, don't, like, I really don't. don't, don't tell me. I don't give a shit about the money. Don't tell me you get fucking Jamal seven K. Then don't bring it up. If you don't give a fuck uh, about my, that one, right? Exactly. Don't give a fuck about that right. Yeah, but because because he was taking the high road, going back to y'all, and you know, and you know, trying to you know make up for what what he did, you know, because he knew that it moved you a, a certain type of way. Marty, I'm literally felt away with Jamal, and that's why y'all did it with him. Go ahead. Marty, I'm literally looking at my phone, and it and it and it says here Tony Balbani is a key holder to Gulag Street Five. That's why we came to look for him here. It wasn't like that. it wasn't like right, we yeah, it wasn't like we just guessed that they lived here. Right. Uh, I'm I'm kind of curious. Like, what what were y'all expecting to find? Like, we're not like the Don. Nobody. Like, you don't. We're know, hoping we're hoping to find the Dons and the Dons only. And he was here. Tony was here. Yeah, we yeah. could nope. hear it. He was literally in. He was literally at this place while we were here. So we were right in guessing. It just so happened that Jamal was there. And once again, he never got hurt. Yeah, absolute rap god, by the way. I don't know about that, but I mean, he is charismatic talent, as fuck. For sure, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's just our point of view, man. Um, okay. So I mean, I, I I don't know. I don't know where you want to go from here, but. Um, um, I, I still want to tell you what, what my problem is from my point of view, okay? Sure. For you guys to, um, even, whether it's provoking or not, whether it's fucking poking at, at each other, baiting, whatever it is, I don't give a fuck. For you guys to shoot at my gas station, for you guys to breach my gas station, that, that is as low as it gets in my eyes. Because business is business, and, and, and the gang life is gang life. You're putting my business at risk, and I'm fucking pissed off about it. At like risk? Said, how so? How, how is your business at risk? Nobody. 
Can you can you explain that to me? Like what what are the police going to okay. come and take your gas station? Uh, they definitely will they attempt to. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, sure. Well then. Okay. Well then, you should probably start by not having other gangs chill out at your business that are also out there doing war and starting some shit and poking their nose into other gangs' businesses. So uh, uh, listen, listen. Don't get, don't hit me with that. Other gangs. Every fucking gang owns a business, right? But oh, but people have the common courtesy to take that shit outside of their business. Okay. That's what I'm asking from you. Stop fucking shoot at my gas station. We didn't shoot at your gas station. Nobody got yes, shot. Did. Nobody and, and, got you shot. Breached, and you breached my gas station and you shot Jamal inside yeah, yeah. of the gas station. I shot Don't Jamal inside of the Tony, gas station. Tony did you listen to a word I said? He wasn't Tony touched. Running over, Tony running over no, 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 no. Here. Jamal no, was shot inside of my store. Was he or not? Oh, he he was yesterday. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Well, we're in the middle of a war. He ran cool. in there. I'm telling you, you don't shoot inside of my fucking store. You don't shoot at my gas station. Well, if we're in war, I will. No, you won't. Uh, yes, I will. If we're in okay. war, I'm going right. to shoot now, you let wherever I see chase. you. Let me, let me cut to the chase then, okay? Sure. If you want this war to end, and this this offer extends to today only, okay? You give me one, you give me the fire, uh, the ring of fire spray, the one that's closest to it, okay? If not, I will come and I will take a lot more. A are you, you, you going to do that with street team as well? Street team doesn't have a flag. What do you mean? No, I mean, are you going to get street team in the cars and shoot at us like I, you I did with uh, you GSF? There's like three fucking members in street team. I don't need street team. Oh, well, you did this morning. No, I didn't. Okay. No oh, sorry. No your boys did. Team. Oh, 100%. They got caught red-handed. And then the same guy came down to our block were, uh, and gave information you to you guys. With street team and, and sliding on GSF or BSK? Okay, I have enough. Okay, no. So what happened was, let me tell you, I went to bed, I, uh, Larry went to bed, other people went to bed. Uh -huh. There was only two GG around. Uh -huh. They weren't hunting. They were in the clothing store just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Convenient. Okay. Convenient that there's only two oh, people and then, around. Oh, and, and then the same the same street team guy that shot that, that was shooting at GSF and, and got caught doing it was also down at our block gathering information for you guys. So, I'm not fucking stupid, bro. I wasn't born yesterday. No, 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 no. OTT, right, you are acting is, really fucking that the, stupid. That's the, that's the guy we just shot at, because he was annoying us, because he wouldn't leave the fuck, fuck over here. Like, right. he is not on our side either. Okay. He's just a fucking idiot. All right. Whatever you say. Okay. Listen, you can come... Listen, you have until the end of today, all right? You can come talk to me if you're ready to sw uh, stop switching your fucking narrative and twisting your stories, okay? Likewise, Marty. Otherwise, you're, you're, otherwise, you're the king of that, bro. I'm telling you, I will take a lot more than one fucking spray. I would rather suck all three of your dicks simultaneously right now than give you a single spray. Get you're gonna earn it. Get the fuck off my property. Will do. Okay, then, fuck off. I... Have a wonderful day. All right, y'all. OTT, we should hit the propane tank on the barbecue before we leave. No, we're not going to shoot here during the meeting. We're not going to do it. Yeah, be on edge. These guys could already be posted up. No, they already are.